Hello, David Zeritsky for The Bond Experience. Welcome back. From time to time, I gather some of the things that come to me through mail, through courier, through pigeon. There's a lot of different ways that these things arrive, and they arrive from all over the world. And I have some to show you today that I think you're going to get a kick out of. Maybe you haven't seen them out on the World Wide Web, and maybe this is a place that you can check them out. So the first one I'm going to show you is something that um, I actually got from the 007.com store, and it is from Johnny Lightning. Now, we've talked about items from Johnny Lightning before. A lot of you collect the cars. They actually came out with dioramas, they say from 2020, and it's release number three. So this is basically they're doing replicas of some of the hottest cars, and you may notice through there that that is the Aston Martin Vantage that Craig has, we believe, in Norway, maybe other places like London, when he comes out of the car in the very nice suit. But this has got a great carded backdrop. You could see right here that it's got a, kind of a metal plate on there that says 007. And of course, at the top, collectible tin display, die cast, metal body and chassis, authentic film replica. And even at the top, you see Aston Martin. Very cool. I like these cars. I like these collectibles. So, yay. I was very happy and very giddy when I got this. The second thing is poker chip coasters. Yes, 007 poker chip coasters. I was pretty jazzed to get these in. Let's take a look at kind of the colors that these come in. And you can see right here, this is this is different than what I thought it was going to be. I was expecting these tiny little coasters. I'm going to open it up. I don't keep things mint in their package. To me, look at this. I'm like ripping it apart. Urgh. Throw the box away. Never to come back again. Oh, oh, oh. So these are, these are bigger than I thought they were going to be. You could see the size of these. It's perfect to put a mug, glass of beer, some wine, some champagne, a martini during a book club. And it comes in four different colors. These are cellophane packed. So what am I doing? I'm biding my time while I try to rip it open without a knife. Unprepared much, David? Yes, yes, you are unprepared. But the great thing is, is that there are some very cool and affordable things at 007.com store. These were very inexpensive, but hold on a second. Really well done. So there you can see the chips. They're really hard durable plastic and comes in a an array of colors hundred thousands five thousands twenty five thousand one thousand very cool and i will be using these tonight because i don't know they're just kind of perfect all right now through the pandemic a lot of you had a lot of downtime this guy for example so we took up puzzles I know, puzzles. It's so old fashioned, traditional, nostalgic, but it was so much fun. And I had to get this one. Look at this. All of the James Bond posters. Yes, all of them, all 25 James Bond poster films in one puzzle. It's a thousand pieces. That's a lot. And you could tell I have not opened this up yet. This is going to be so much fun. By the way, 12 and older. So I guess I'm allowed to play with this puzzle. But I'm gonna start opening this up. I'll tell you what Danielle and I do. We, we get a drink or two and we sit down with some snacks and we put the puzzle out on this big round coffee table in our room and we just have fun with it. You know, we just put this together. It takes days. Some of these have taken even weeks because we come back to it when we want to. Sometimes we'll have family over and guests and they'll do a little bit of the puzzle and it's just so much fun. There are many things in life that we can't control, right? Work, things. But it's something, there's something so satisfactory about completing a puzzle. It's like the, the effort that you put in is what you get out of it. And that's not like everything in your life, right? Some things are totally out of control, but doing a James Bond puzzle is great. I can't wait to open this up. I, I've been actually waiting to do this. It's all for you. That's all for you. All right. So I've said this before. In the Bond community, the 
fan clubs, the global international fan clubs, have been just doing it right. They're great to their members, they're great to the franchise, and they're great to the outside community. So this is one. I just got a magazine from Gun Barrel. Das Magazine de James Bond Club Deutschland EV. Gun Barrel. Check this out. Amazing cover. And what's even better in all of this is this came with a letter. And the letter is from Andreas Pott, who is the president of the German fan club or the James Bond Club German Magazine 2021. Dear David, I hope this finds you and your loved ones very well. With the COVID-19 situation, you seem to do much better in the U.S. now than we do in Germany and Europe. Good to know. Good to know. Uh, writing this letter, the news came out that there are rumors about a No Time to Die premiere at the Wembley Stadium in London this fall. So let's hope for that in getting together. This would be our chance to meet in person at last. This is the nicest guy. I'm happy to send you our club magazine of 2021 including two little goodies I hope you like and find someone for translation. Yeah, I do not speak German, even though I have a German wife. But um, this, I flipped through already. This magazine, I'm constantly impressed with these James Bond Club magazines. And the German one is amazing. Happy birthday, James. Look at this. There's, there's so much in here. There's postcard. There, <laughs> Alan Cummings. There's a hand-signed autograph from Alan Cummings. And then I'm not exaggerating here. You have page after page of incredible images that are here. It goes through different locations. It goes through all types of imagery, things I haven't seen before, things that the club has been doing, sneak peeks at things to come. I mean, this magazine is absolutely monstrous. I mean, it's over 80 pages long and then some. There's even a wonderful, wonderful tribute to Sean Connery towards the end. I mean, this is just, it's kind of jaw-dropping if you think about it, that they put this together. These are fans. I mean, yes, they're professionals and I'm just a professional doing a job, but they are just blowing it out of the water. By the way, look at this dapper guy, Remert sporting one of the ads there. Amazing. And by the way, lots of goodies everywhere. There's a tag, James Bond Club Deutschland, with even a, a lanyard. A lanyard. There's so many things that I'm just starting to get to know and open them, which makes me so excited. All right. This next one is just out of left field, but I think you're going to get a kick out of it. You remember um, Live and Let Die. Of course you do. It's my favorite Roger Moore movie. Maybe yours. Maybe yours. And he goes to the uh, occult, voodoo occult store in New York City. And he picks out a gift, just a random gift. And, uh, oh, look what I have. Look at this. It is a replica. Look at the detail. It is a replica of the snake from Live and Let Die. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. And this is right size, right shape. So our good friend who has worked on us with so many of these prop videos, he's the Finland Q, as I like to call him, Klaus. And Klaus um, has a friend. She is an amazing seamstress and she made him one. And I saw it and I'm like, uh, yes, jealous party of one right here. And Klaus knew that I loved Live and Let Die. He spoke to her and a package showed up. Uh, lengthwise, of course, with a snake in it. I am loving this. Now, she is a huge um, cat lover, huge cat lover. So I'm going to be making a donation to a cat charity, but I would like to thank her so very much for creating this and donating this to the uh, archive. It is literally going to go right there in about a second once I'm done filming to put in the collection, but so identifiable. For the non-Bond fans that come down to my collection, they're going to be like, why is he have a stuffed animal sitting in the corner? Uh, for those that know, they're going to flip out. That's all they're going to do. So thank you. This last one that I want to show you is incredibly special. And I have to go back and, and talk a little bit. But on February of 2020, the Bond community lost a, uh, a very good friend uh, named Andy House. 
Uh, Andy loved all things Bond. He uh, was a huge collector. He shared information. He shared items. He shared his love of Bond. He shared his time. I got to meet Andy when I was in London. A, 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 a giant of a guy with an even bigger heart. He was just so, so kind. And one of the things um, that happened on February 2020 is that we lost him. And it's a huge loss. I mean, it's a loss of a friendship and a loss to the Bond community of one of the, the, the springs from which so much information flowed, truly. When Andy passed away, a few friends of his got together and wanted to do a tribute to him, something that he would love, something that if he could see it, and we'd like to think that he did and is, that uh, he would love it and he would smile. And so they put together a project where they created the ring, recreated the ring from this movie that I'm standing right in front of, Diamonds Are Forever. He loved Diamonds Are Forever, but mostly he loved Q's ring, the casino ring with the three Bs on it. And he always wanted one, so his friends decided to do a commemorative ring. So what I'm holding right now is the Q Branch Electromagnetic RPM ring. And this is the tribute ring. What you're gonna love about this is it's inscribed, it's 3D printed on here in memory of Andrew and we called him Gadget Meister because he was the Gadget Meister, he was. Everybody will remember him as that house, Andy House. And we have his dates 0906-1960 to 2020. Beautiful box, um, very sentimental, very heartwarming and inside because his friends are experts too, is the ring from Diamonds of Forever, which if he was around, he would have loved to add to his collection. What's even more amazing is um, all of the funds collected for this, all the proceeds um, were donated to the RAF Benevolent Fund and the British Heart Foundation. These are two charities that um, in his passing in lieu of flowers, people wanted to give uh, back to that because of, of Andy's connection to those, those two groups. So this is amazing. What I've done in the comment section below is I put a link to those charities as well. If you wanna give to Andy, who was a member of our Bond community who passed away, uh, this was a way to kind of show off this, this beautiful tribute piece that so much love and attention went into. But more than anything, it was to honor Andy in the way that I knew how, and um, to just let you know that people in the Bond community, even all of you, have a, a deeper connection than just things and items, and even bigger than the Bond franchise itself, of course. Uh, it's about humans connecting with humans, after all. So, with that thought, deep as it is, I will leave you to it. And this has been David Zaritsky for The Bond Experience, and we'll see you all real soon. Take care. Thanks for watching this episode. If you want to be up on the latest from the Bond experience, just click on this subscribe and subscribe to our channel. You're going to get all the latest and greatest information plus some exclusive content. And by the way, speaking of content, here's something especially for you just because we know you. Talk to you soon.